Hey everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin and welcome to my segment in the Old and New Friends Christmas event. I want to thank Sheila for um, inviting me. I was honored to get the invitation and um, I'm looking forward to this. So let's, let me get my comments up and running while everybody gets here so I can see my friends. Hey Cindy, always the first one here and I'm so glad to see you. Yay, so when you hop on, say hello. Hey Janice and Vicki and Donna, hey my friends. Hey Beverly, hi Lisa. If you're new, be sure to let me know. I'd love to welcome you. We'd all love to welcome you. This is a wonderful community. Hey Patsy and Carol, how are y'all doing? Uh, my regulars know this is um, past my bedtime. Moidle, hey, I get to see you tomorrow night. I'm so happy. That's my sweet sister in love. Hi, Deb and Bunky. So I'm not usually on this late. This is going to be fun. It's, um, you know, I've got, I'm in my studio. I've got all windows this way all around and it's dark. So I had to brighten it up. Hey, Catherine and Cheryl. Hey, Sandra. Kathy's here. Oh, I've had a good day. I know, me too, Moyle. Hey, Kathleen, Betty, Nora, Mary. Everybody's getting here. Hey, Kathy. There's Pat. Sherry's Creative Designs. Hello, friend. Hi, Roxanne and Penny. Everybody's getting in here. Okay, y'all, we've got a new Christmas kit from Mr. Tater Buggin. And I'm so excited to finish it out. I want to hear what y'all think about it. I did the right thing this time. It's already in our online shop, and I've put the link to the kit in my description. And I'm sure my Dolly, thank you for those stars. You're so sweet. Hey, Lynn. Oh, oh, everybody's getting here so fast. Michelle, Teresa, Sandy from Arkansas. We just we just went through Arkansas last week. I love Arkansas. Hey, Debbie. Um, oh, is Elizabeth here? Didn't she do it? I want that deer head. It was so great. And then I got to watch Judy at Wyatt's Whatnots, and oh, her gingerbread paintings were so great. Hey, Ruth. There's Sheila. Sheila, I was thanking you at the beginning. I was honored to be invited to be a part of this event, so thank you very much, sweet friend. So, let's get started. I'm going to bring it out a little bit at a time. I thought and thought, hey, Char, about how I wanted to finish um, finish these little trees out. I'm going to tilt you down so you can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit better. All right, all I'm going to do, thank you, Patty. This is uh, from Bell Lily. I've got a Bell Lily code for y'all if you want 15% off. And I know, um, I know that Cindy's going to be... Cindy shares my links for me, and she's kind of my right hand, Cindy Kane. Hey, Sherry's Artisanal Shop. That's a beautiful name. That's fancy. Oh, it's my pleasure, Sheila. I am so excited. Yes, Debbie, you're one of my old friends. Yeah. So, um, this is some homemade white chalk paint that one of my sweet tater bugs makes for me, and I love it. Am I in the picture. I just want this, this is going to come to you like this. My husband cut, hand cuts all of our kits. We design it. He hand cuts it. You're on this kit, as opposed to the rustic, tall rustic wood church, this one's going to be planed down and sanded very well. So your paint's going to go on like butter. I promise. He prides himself in, um, really making the wood, um, uh, as workable as he can for, for a kit like this. Sometimes we want that rustic look and like on that church so you can kind of see the the grooves and the grain and everything but on this kit um, we're going to be finishing out. I'm going to finish it out. You could finish it out with paint alone. Oh, you know really the sky's the limit and y'all are all creative so I know I don't have to tell you this. This is just one idea I had that I'm gonna do today. So I'm just hitting it with the white chalk paint because I'm gonna decoupage. And I want it to have a good white 
base underneath it so you'll really be able to see the design on the paper. So, it's your first time, Cindy. Welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you will uh, enjoy what we do here. Uh, he didn't this week because he, you know, it's opening day of um, hunting season, but he usually cooks. Uh, he'll be cooking on Thursday nights. Howdy, Summer. Hootie who? Oh, you said, <laughs> hey, Kim. I love that. Hootie who? I always think of Gomer Pyle when I see that. Oh, y'all are talking about the weather. Ooh, the wind today was ferocious, and it was so warm here. And, um, hey, Emma. Hey, Regina. And uh, we've got we've got storms coming. I think Betty Sargent over in Arkansas is having them right now. Yes, please stay safe. Uh, it, it must be a big front. Um, my tater tot, Chris, y'all, y'all, my regulars know my son, Chris. He has a sore throat, so, but it's due to this weather. It happens a lot. Hi, Jody. I'm so happy to see you, friend. Hey, Marsha. Oh, they're good. Y'all, the comments are going by so fast. I'm excited. All right, we're not going to do a lot of paint drying tonight. I promise you that, so don't run off on me. Um, that's, I think, the only paint drying session we're going to have. Now, what I chose to do on mine is I've just got the Waverly Antique Wax, and I decided I wanted to just go around the edges and the back with this to give it a finished look. Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate that. Hey, Elizabeth. Oh, uh, I, um, I've been toying with the idea. I usually go live on my page Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 4 Central in the afternoon because I'm not a night owl and I'm not a morning person, so I tend to do better midday. But I'm thinking about trying um, sometime soon. It may not be till the first of the year. I don't know. Um, doing one day a week around this time, maybe from 6.30 to 7.30. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad. So we'll we'll see. I'm thinking about that. Is Valerie new? Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. Um, so if you don't know, we um, if you're new here, we have an online shop of all kinds of things. I do paint parties there that are all still available. My husband cuts all the wood kits. And, well, we design them together, and sometimes he has designed, designed them from start to finish. Sometimes I have an idea, and I take it to him, and we work it out together how to make it come to life. And this is one of those. And um, he tries to, to get them as polished up as he can before sending them. He will have, let me show you. He will have the dowels already in the bottom of each tree. So this is how I chose to finish uh, finish uh, my kit out, but I'm sure you'll have a lot of ideas. Oh, Michelle, thank you for that. So what you're gonna get, now I already put a coat of the white chalk paint. This is gonna be your base and that's the back. Here's the front. I have finished it on all sides, but I have an idea for that too. We're gonna do more to that. Now I'm gonna put it down this way. Then you're gonna, for this kit, we have uh, five trees. You're gonna get three large, a medium, and a small. He has pre-drilled the holes for the trees. Uh, we have a smaller kit that's three trees, a large, a medium, and a small in the shop. And, um, hey, Kelly Sue, thank you. It's Belle Lily. I've got y'all a, a discount code if you want to go look it up. So, um, we do have it in a three-tree kit or this five-tree kit. And thank y'all so much for welcoming everybody. I'm going to start with the um, large trees. 
which one did I just do? It doesn't matter. It's going to be dry. Now, what I'm going to use is Digital Deco Designs uh, rice paper. I have a link for, for you there, too, as well. What I do, well, I've bought a lot of her um, already printed papers, but what I, I got smart and I ordered a pack of rice paper from her so that I can do the digital downloads and um, just print them out myself. So that's what I've been doing. I've got, I've got this one and two others. I may need to, to dip into one of those. Thank you. Is it, is it Job? Or is it Job Buddy? <laughs> I immediately thought Job, so. But I'm glad you're here. Okay, so I'm, this one I chose because it's a mishmash, and it's a mishmash of things I really love. So I, I wouldn't be too fussy about how it looks on the front of the tree. It will just give you, you the Christmas vibe. So I, I just want to see how I want to, to do this and maybe just kind of, mm, do I want to do that? Yeah, I have to think about it a minute. And I have not finished one of these out yet. This is, we'll see how it all turns out. I'm doing it live. If I blow it, I'm going to trust y'all to do your kit better than I did my kit. <laughs> All right. I just want to trace around it before. Oh, mm, so I can see how I can fit them on there the way I want to. That's kind of cool because it's already turned. But I love that bird and I love that clock. Okay. Make up your mind, Lindy. There we go. We're gonna go with that. And then I wanted some of that pretty poinsettia. That's that pretty color at the bottom. I think I'm gonna get all three trees out of this one sheet. That's good, they'll be cohesive. Okay, and these are just my guides. Now, I'm gonna cut it apart, but that's not how I wanna finish it out. Oh, thank you, Regina. I'm new, but not new. I was hacked. Ah, that was rude. Let me see. I was hacked, so I had to create an... Oh, uh, doesn't that irritate you? Making it with Mimi. Hey there, friend. Yes, we're happy to have you back. And Vivian, hi from California. Oh, hi from Tennessee. Thank you. It's a bell lily. And uh, y'all find out I wear a lot of bell lily. I've got a discount code for y'all. Oh, did I really do that? Did that really not? No. Oh, okay. Um, stay with me, Lindy. So what I'm going to do now is I want that kind of feathered um, effect from the rice paper. So I'm going to use my water pen to tear this out, I'm just gonna dampen the sides here where I want to tear it. Cause I thought it might look fun to have those fibers coming out. And it just pulls, it usually pulls apart so easily. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want because you know, a tree would have fuzzy branches, right? A Christmas tree is kind of, it's a silly word to use, fuzzy, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I think this is going to work real well. Okay. Let's be careful with that. Well, Judy Zeppa, thank you so much, sweet friend. I appreciate that. I thought, oh, you know, I'm, I am, uh, it's been a day. I have been busy, busy, busy and running all day. 
and I kind of thought, oh, I had to run in there and like freshen up my makeup. I thought, I can't bring this tired face to my new friends or my old ones. Hey, Myrtle, how are you? All right, when I get this last little bit here, I'm going to show you how it looks on the, the edges. Almost didn't leave myself enough space there. I just want to get this little white edge off on this side. Got a water pen today. You and we, <laughs> I'm wearing Penny down. She used to not be a crafter or creator. And um, she, we, we're winning her over, y'all. We're winning her over. She's, she's, she's coming along. Mm, I got that too close to the edge. Let me see what I can do here. Oh, uh, yeah, this is going to work. Okay, so what I'm going to use now is the uh, redesigned decoupage gel. I got this from um, Jane Belante Art from her online shop. That backwards? I thought I had you flipped. Do I not have y'all flipped? There you go. Can't believe I forgot to do that. From Nagadocious, Texas. Marcus, welcome. Thank you, Andrea. I bet you our Cindy has already shared a link. Oops. To the top, I mean. I'm cutting my head off. I don't know why I'm having such a issue getting my camera angles right this week. How long have you been doing this, Lindy? Okay. Let's take, take my old chippy brush here, and let's go on and get this on the Christmas tree so we can see what that's going to look like. I want to have plenty of time. I don't want to run out of time. I want to get this all finished up and see what it looks like. Okay, let's set that over here this down and let those little raggedy edges oh I love the way that looks so now I can see how much I've got over here and I can I can do this uh, the same way now let me show you how it makes it look don't look at yeah look at this side no don't look at that side look at this side I'm backwards now can you see how fuzzy it is I like that I'm liking that a lot and this um, rice paper is so easy to work with. And Catherine does beautiful designs. So y'all be sure to check out her shop. I think, Cindy, you probably already dropped that link too. Sure. So we're just going to make this side match up to the other. And you'll be glad to know I did all the other prepping and staining portion so you wouldn't have to sit through all five trees that way. Give me a little bit of water brush. There we go. This is my first Christmas craft of the of uh, 2022. I just now I think I'm finally I was I was Kind of bucking it, but uh, I'm finally ready to get into it. So I, I'm loving the look of this paper on here. Is are my comments still going? They stopped on here. I want to be sure I can see what y'all are saying. Let me do a quick refresh, and we'll get on with it here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Kathy is here. Good. I, I didn't know what was going on. I wasn't seeing any comments. I thought y'all left me. Wow, 229. Yay! I'm so happy y'all are here. Have y'all been enjoying the event? And it goes on through tomorrow. I was in and out all day. I didn't get to see as many as I had hoped to, but here's what I'm going to do. 
I'm gonna go on and put this down and then tear it this time. I think that's gonna be easier. Oh, thank you so much, Janice. Yeah, we always, you know, when it's kind of nerve wracking. You got a new idea and he's cut it out for me and everything and you kind of hope that everybody's gonna like it. And not be like that. No, that's no fun, Lindy. out a little bit oh that one's gonna be pretty too it got some eyeglasses on it and a poinsettia why are my comments not acting right let me see if they're coming in on my phone 232 well it's probably because mine froze there we go Hey, Wanda, thank you. Yeah, the, we've had those crazy winds today, too. I kept, there was stuff falling over on the porch, and our fern won't stay upright on the deck. <laughs> I was constantly trying to um, get everything picked up because it kept getting blown over. I uh, love this fuzzy edge hanging off the edge of this tr uh, wood tree that that's really cute so I'm sure you can think of a million ways to finish out this kit um, we're gonna we're not doing them all in rice paper this time though yeah see every t it's uh, Facebook is not being sweet to me tonight Every time I refresh, I see new comments, but I, they're not rolling. That has not happened to me in quite some time. And it's so annoying because I love comments. I love to see what y'all are saying, whether you're talking to me or each other or what. Whatever. Kathy, I'm loving this paper. Love this design. This this is the look I was going for in my head. I'll just have to keep refreshing as I look up because I don't want to miss y'all's comments. Okay, just get this bottom part right here. And if you didn't like the fuzzy look, no big deal. You just cut it right out with your scissors and it'll have plain edges. Okay. Number two done. There we go, I'm gonna hold it up to show you. So we've got, so because they're from the same piece of paper, they're cohesive, but they're different. They go together, but they're different. Now let me, hit refresh one more time and then we're doing this last one where did I get my shirt it's from Belle Lily and um, we have a discount code for you you can get 15% off if you use my code tater 15 Cindy has been dropping that link for y'all um, I love this top this was from last year but I'm pretty sure they still have it made a little boo-boo there, so that's all right. We can fix it. Eraser. Where's my eraser? Oh, life. You all should see this table. You should see it. Okay, just didn't. I don't think this pencil mark is going to show anyway, but I just want to, I've got to move it down because I didn't quite get the top. tree covered. All right. There we go. Yep, they're just not rolling. They're not scrolling. And see, when I have big pieces like this left over, I mean, obviously, this Santa's going to go on something. This bird will go on up, backwards. This piece will go on something else. I don't ever throw away 
usable, even this size, I'll save. I don't waste anything. All right, last one, then it's quick. Then it's smooth sailing. And I'll show you how easily uh, this kit goes together. Oh yeah, that's good. Good save, Lindy. Good save. And I did get some of that poinsettia on it that I wanted to get. Cut this up. Refresh again real quick. And see, these stopped a long time ago up here on my phone. Mm. Sometimes Facebook really, really tries our patience when we're trying to talk to it is Beverly. It's already in our online shop. It can, Catherine. I love, love, love this this piece. But listen, y'all, I I also printed these out from her shop because I wasn't sure if the trees would fit. You know, and on these they didn't quite, but the medium and the small, of course, do. But these are going to make great um, projects. Itchy nose. I haven't had an itchy nose all day. I think the wind kicked up. You know, going the wind. It being so windy, it was stirring up all the stuff I must be allergic to. My nose was itching. Almost done. Try not to rush too much and mess it up, but I, I want I know y'all are ready for me to get on with it. And that's gonna that's so close. I'm gonna have to work on that part here just a little bit. I think I can do it. Yeah, right here in the middle. That's gonna be The rice paper I love for those, all the fibers that are in it are just so beautiful to me. Okay. So we've got our three trees ready to go. Those are so pretty. Okay. So all you've got to do, you've got pre-drilled holes. He did this one, the, yeah. He makes sure the dowels fit tight into the pre-drilled hole. So if it looks like one dowel is fatter, look for the bigger hole. <laughs> okay, and here, these are staggered. So you're gonna get this. And now for the medium sized tree, I want to paint it. And I'm going for this pretty chalk paint. Again, it's a color that um, my sweet tater bug, um, Gail Chandler made, makes for me. And I think it's gonna go really well with the green in this paper. Oh, mercy. I should have loosened it first. Hold your ears, I gotta hit it. I have to see comments, so I have to keep refreshing so I get to see at least two or three more comments of all nights for me not to get to see what y'all are saying. I hope I'm not missing any um, questions or anything. Hey, Judy, welcome. Thank you, Debbie. I, we were so hoping that y'all would like this kit. Um, hey, Linda. Hey, Patty. Glad you made it. All right, let's just do a little of this green and see how this looks. Ooh, I like that. That's got some texture in it. What'd she do on that one? That's fun. I think this is such a pretty sage moss type green. 
Um, and you know Waverly has their, well, it's moss and it's um, celery. Those are both very similar green colors to this one. Okay, so we've got that one. Yes, I think that's gonna look real good with those. And then for the last one, I was gonna go with the ballet slipper pink, but then I was noticing this beautiful soft red in her paper on the poinsettia. So I've chosen, this is called, this is just red from Craftsmart. So we're gonna put that on this one. I gotta watch my time. Oh my goodness. I've got, no, I've only been, okay. Got 15 minutes left. Hurry, Lindy, because I got it, the final little final touch. Yeah, this is what I wanted, just this soft, soft red. I didn't want a bright in your face red because I wanted it to go with that poinsettia. And oh, this is pretty. Okay. Now, while that, I'm going to let that dry for a second while we go on to the next little bit. Okay. Speed craft. So, what we have here. You're gonna get for this little um, end piece you're gonna get a little sign and I went on and stained it we're gonna attach it here so you can put anything on your sign that you want obviously do a stencil on it um, whatever you want to do I'm gonna get out my my chalk pencil, and let me see if I can't letter this real quick. Like somebody, you know, just made a, a rustic sign for their tree farm. Cut your own tree. Simple. And let's get us out a little, a little detail brush. Let me see if this one will work for me. And let's do this real fast. And let's refresh. If anybody is interested in learning lettering, I have an ongoing course. It's not a course. It's it's all the tips and tricks that I've come up with over all the years. It's a one-time fee of $10. That brush is not going to work. I know real fast when a brush is going to work for lettering or not, and that's not the one. I think it's time for me to get another set of my lettering brushes, y'all. Um, they're not working for me anymore. Let's get to see what I'm doing. Oh, so y'all's are sticking too? What is going on tonight? I'm not being fussy with this lettering because like I said, I want it to look like somebody that has a tree farm just drew out their own sign. Hold it up and show you what we've got. This isn't my favorite lettering brush, but it's it's doing the job. So I'll erase those chalk marks um, after it dries. Get mine are sticking, sticking, sticking. My uh, comments, okay. Now, you get to dry. Now, what we're going to do next to make these a little fancy, since we've got fancy uh, paper. Hey, Patricia Kimball. Y'all's are all sticking to the page. Sherry, that is um, Simply Siblings Crafts. Join that group, and you'll see all the creators shared there. 
I'll put that up and I still need it. Back to my decoupage gel medium. Um, on my brush. And so once again, we're gonna we're gonna try to fancy up these front two trees so they'll have a little sparkle. Hey Darlene, I'm glad you made it. Y'all know this, you obviously know that this dries clear. Y'all have used um, decoupage mediums before a million times, I'm sure. So now let's put some diamond dust on our tree. Make it a little fancy. Told everybody these are cut to fit. It may be that they got paint down in that one, but that's okay. I've got it going. There we go. Okay, let me just show you. Ooh. Oh, look, it's coming together so pretty. Okay, now let me do the red one. Move that over to the side there. And then I'm gonna finish out the bottom and we'll be done. Of course, you could leave it just like this if you wanted to, um, but I had a little idea I wanted to try. We'll see how, if it works out or not. This will give it a little sparkle. You know, if you want to get real fancy, you could put, have you seen the new um, Totally Dazzled Snowflake? Uh, pieces. Oh my goodness, wouldn't those be pretty on each tree? Look how pretty that is. I'm so excited. It looks better than I even imagined. Yay. Okay, let me glue our little sign down on our, let me see if it's good and dry and I'm going to uh, erase those chalk marks real quick. Are you good and dry? You know what? I can just do that. I think. Yeah. There they go. Maybe, maybe hit them just a little bit. There we go. All right. Now I want to just add some hot glue right in the center. Just to start out with. And then... When, when I'm done, I'll go back over the back of it, um, you know, kind of go back and forth with the glue, although that's holding really well. So here we go. We've got cut your own tree. Now, oh, I have, I have another thing. Okay, I found this last minute Hobby Lobby today, and I thought this would finish off the sides, the front, that's my dog coughing, I'm sorry the uh, front and sides, and then we're gonna do this top part. Let me, let me cut this. So it, and the Christmas is 60% off, so that was good. This, this whole big roll costs like $3, I think. I'm bad. I cannot see what y'all are saying. Okay, 23. Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay, I gotta hurry. Just gonna do half and then half, so it will hold. Oh, this is pretty trim. Thank you, Shelly. I appreciate that. Oh, thanks, Iris. Thank you, Wanda. Oh, I love getting to see your comments. I feel alone when I can't see your comments. I like to see the comments. Whew, that's hot. It's supposed to be perfect. Okay, let me hold that there just a second. Okay, now I'm gonna do the sides 
off camera because I want to do this last little bit. I'll do I'll I'll finish out the sides with that same pretty trim. But what I want to try out, see if it looks good, is having some snow with twinkly lights in it. Now you could use spray snow um, or snow spray. <laughs> um, but I wanted to weave some little um, lights into the snow. This is going to take some futzing around, y'all. You know, you're going to want to mess with it. But I want you to just get the effect of what I have in my head. Move it back some. It won't be this puffy. I'm not going to make it this puffy. I want it to be just, you know, just enough. This, in fact, what I've got right now is probably enough. We're going to wind it around. Don't let me go over. I've got five minutes. Like I said, I'll I'll fiddle with this a good bit to um, get it just right. And uh, let's see. Let's pull off a little bit more here and do that across the front so we can at least get the look of it. I'm going to thin it out and glue it all down and kind of press it, but get you, I ordered, we ordered a box full of these little fairy lights off Amazon a year ago. I'm still using them. It's wonderful. So, they work. Yay. So I'm just thinking I will put these all down, weave them in and out of the snow. Once I have the snow situated and then I might, what I might do is put glue the, um, what's the trim called? I might glue the lights a little bit in place. I'm gonna let you see that. It was, it's called Christmas. Doesn't that just help you? So that's what it is. And it's, I know it says $7.99, but it is 60% um, off now. So I just need to hold it up so I can get a, y'all can get an idea of what this is going to look like. We'll weave them all in and out. They're on that little wire, thin wire. So I'll be able to manage it, I think. I'm just going to do this for the effect right now. Of course, like I said, this is not, this is just my vision of how I wanted to finish this kit out. I hope you're, I hope this is giving you all kinds of ideas of fun ways. This might make a fun um, Christmas gift too. Okay, and we would just hide this little thing right here in the back, and I'll glue that down when I get it all situated correctly, but there you go. It's a little Christmas tree farm, whatever, fairy wonderland. <laughs> all my comments are <laughs> wonderful. Yes, Crafting with Sassy Chicks 101 is following me. So head on over there. You can watch her on her page or you can go to Simply Siblings Crafts Group and everybody will be shared there. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again, Sheila, for inviting me. Um, I'm honored and uh, thank you, Jerry. I appreciate that. And there's another link to the kit if you're interested in doing this. Catherine, thank you for your beautiful papers. Um, I just had a, I had so much fun hanging with y'all. So any of you who are new, oh, how big are the trees? Let me tell you, let me tell you. Right here, uh, Sarah, you, you, thank you. The large ones stand, almost six inches tall. Medium is four and three quarters. And the small is, 
well, it stands four and three quarters as well, even though it's smaller. And the board is 16 inches long on the five tree kit, and it is just over 10 inches on the three tree kit. And that's that, y'all. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, give us a follow if you're new and you enjoy what we do here. And I hope to see y'all come back Sunday at 4. I'll be on for another creation. Good night, y'all. Bye.